Mr. Lavery? Yes, there's a lady outside who says she needs to see you. Her name is Owen. Oh, Lynn? Something's wrong with Robin. What, what, what does she say? She didn't say, Mrs. Lavery. She just said that she has an important message for Duke. How about what? Excuse me, please. What's the matter, is it Robin? No, no, no. Robin's just fine. She's in school, no problem. But this gal phoned you right after you split from the house that she needed to talk to you real bad. I said, no way, Jose. But you better give me the message. What is this? Cottage number four, green light. I don't understand. What else did she say? Don't she? She said your whole future depended on it, and more important, your wife. That's it. I guess I'm supposed to go here then, yeah? Oh, babe, you are messing around with these bad dudes. That could be a setup. They could get you out there and waste you. Oh, come on, Olin. They're not bad. Anyway, what did this woman sound like? <sighs> sort of a, a foreign generic accent. Not Chinese, I know. And she was trying to disguise her voice, but I know I've never heard her before anyway. Okay, thank you. I have to remind you, take better care of Robin now. Oh, sure. I'll meet her at school and I'll watch her like a hawk. But, but, that's the least of your worries. I'm going to go back again now. I'm going to make a way over there. Okay? Hey, you give that girl my love. Hear me? Of course I will. Hey. Hey, is Robin all right? No, she's fine. Uh, Olin had an urgent message for me. I don't know the telephone. It's from I don't know, that's the whole thing. It's cottage number four, Green Lake. I guess I'm supposed to go there. It's an old resort, isn't it? I mean, it'll be closed now, wouldn't it? Don't you dare go there without the police. Please, excuse me. Well, no, I can take you It's terrible seeing you here. Hi. Oh, I have so many rocks in my head, I can't even think straight. But after I gave you that phone message, I forgot to tell you what happened right after you left the house. Well, tell me what happened. Well, Mr. Scorpio came with the fudge, I guess, part of his lab team. Did he have a search warrant? He said this would help Anna's case, so I let him in. What were they looking for? I don't know, but they were all over your bedroom like a coat of paint. I guess whatever he was looking for, he found it. Well, what did he find? Did he take something away with yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, it was some little thing he put in a plastic bag in his pocket. Did you see what it was? No, but I know, I heard Mr. Scorpio say to his driver, get me to the airport, ASAP. Oh, well, I just wonder what had to be in our bedroom that Scorpio knew about that we didn't know about the report of the case. Well, I don't know, but at least he's working on the case, which is why I went to New York. Well, given his recent track record, I wouldn't count on him too much. Anyway, I'm going to go up to this place. I will. Be careful. All right, there you are. You have your gun trained on Olivia. Mm -hmm. What happened? Well, um, there was a knock at the door, and it distracted me, and uh, I was also feeling rather sick and having just lost the baby. And Olivia uh, came towards me, and she grabbed the gun the gun go off? No, it didn't. No, we struggled for a while. Um, we struggled, and she overpowered me because I, you know, I didn't feel very well, and she took the gun, and I thought that was it. I thought she was going to shoot me, but she didn't. Instead, she pushed me out the door. She pushed me out the door, and she closed it. Now, I mean, I, I imagine that she wanted to get down to the summit meeting, and that's why she just didn't want anything to stop her. Uh, objection, Your Honor. Witness is speculating on somebody else's state of mind. Sustained. The jury will disregard Mrs. Lavery's last remark. What happened then? I was outside the door and uh, I was feeling rather sick, so I leant on the wall. And then I heard shots from inside. How many shots were fired? Maybe five uh, or four. I, I'm not sure exactly. So I, I went to the door and I tried the handle and it was unlocked, so I pushed the door open and Olivia was lying on the floor. She'd been shot. And next to her was a gun, which I thought was mine. It was the same make and model. You went in? Yes, I did. I thought perhaps I should do something. Then I heard somebody moving around in the bedroom. It was a very large suite. There was a bedroom on the other side of the living room. And I thought that that was the person who had shot Olivia. So I picked up the gun which I thought was mine, to protect myself. And that's when Duke Lavery, um, Commissioner Scorpio, and Sean Donnelly came in. I mean, I know, I know, it looked, I was standing there, holding a gun that had just been fired. I was standing over Olivia's body, but 
You know, as much as I despise this woman for what she's done to my family and to my child and me, I swear I did not shoot Olivia St. John. Well, thank you, Mrs. Lavery. I have no more questions for this witness, Your Honor. Oh, very well. He just buried himself. The case he just presented, you're right. The court will recess for one hour for lunch, and I assume the district attorney will be ready to cross-examine at 1.30? Yes, Your Honor. I'm looking forward. I uh, owe a deep debt of gratitude to my esteemed colleague in law, Mr. Meyer. I'm uh, not new to law, but I, I am new to the district attorney's office. And to be perfectly honest with you, a win in a difficult case like this would truly impress my boss. <laughs> Order. Mr. Meyer, by allowing his client to build the very case that I would have built, has gone a long way to help me with that goal. Thank you, Jake. <clears throat> I would also like to thank Mrs. Lavery. Open, forthright testimony for actions and motives that led up to and including the night Olivia St. John was shot. I know that I have a much clearer picture as to why she went to the suite with a gun. However, there's there's this one item that I think needs to be brought up. I'm going to ask Mrs. Lavery about it. Mrs. Lavery, you told the court everything there is to know about this case? Yes, I think so. Everything that relates to me. Everything? Yes, everything. Are you sure? Your Honor! Why is the prosecutor harassing the witness? Good question, Mr. Baldwin. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I don't mean to. I'm just... I'm just a little amazed that... the relationship between Olivia St. John and Anne Lavery's husband, Duke Lavery, hasn't been brought up. There's a good reason for that, Your Honor. Nobody asked about it. And since my learned attorney is so familiar with the law, I'm sure he realizes that he should be responding to the items on the table only. He is right. Mr. Baldwin. Well, Your Honor, he is and he is, and I can understand why he's keeping it under the table instead of putting it right on top of the table here, because we're supposed to be getting to the truth, but so far... The prosecutor calling me a liar. Is he calling my Address your questions to the bench, both of you. Mr. Meyer, please. Address your questions. Please, please. I know, I know what Mr. Baldwin is trying to say. That, um... Oh. My husband had a... My husband slept with Olivia St. John. Oh. And she used it, she used it, she used it to blackmail Duke, in, and she went as far as to say that she was pregnant. Oh. But she, she wasn't pregnant, I mean, she was Mrs. lying. Mrs. Lavery, every time you saw Olivia St. John, that must have been on your mind. The vision of your husband in bed with her Honor. must have been horrible. Imputing motives on my client that she's never claimed. Sustained. Talk about your motives for murder. Same objection, Your Honor. Sustain, Mr. Baldwin. Tell us about this gun that you were holding. As it turns out, it wasn't your gun. That sort of, sort of got lost somewhere. Whose gun was it? I don't know. It was unidentified and the numbers had been ground off. Well, where was your gun? I don't know. Well, the police found it. People's Exhibit 3. Where did the police find this gun? They found it in a dresser in my bedroom. In your home? Yes. But you said you had this point at Olivia St. John. How did it get back there? I don't know. You were chief of police, right? Yes. So you would have access to such underground weapons. Objection, Your Honor. Pure speculation. Withdrawn. All right, let's get back to your state of mind when you went to Olivia St. John's suite, knowing how you felt about that woman, how, when she spent the night with your husband, they were intertwined Objection, naked Honor. in the throat. All right, all right, I went there, Honor. I went there to kill her. I wanted to shoot her. Murder. Oh. 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 Oh.